Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Furute. In the world of Android modding, ADB and the fastboot setup on your PC is very important. Device must be detected in the ADB, especially in the fastboot, which is also called as bootloader mode. To perform different activities like unlocking bootloader, flashing fastboot ROMs, recoveries, boot images, etc. There are hundreds of different videos available on YouTube to set up the ADB and fastboot on your device. Some of them are working, but they have very tedious setup process which is not understandable for normal users. Sometimes they work, sometimes they not. So today we are brought you a simple 2023 guide which will help you to set up the ADB and fastboot on your Windows PC within 2 minutes. No lengthy platform tools or manual fastboot driver installation is shown here. This will work on any device anywhere on the PC. No need to type the commands under Platform Tools folder of C drive. If you already installed Platform Tools or any kind of fastboot and ADB drivers and they are not working, still you don't have to remove the previous drivers, you can directly unzip and run these drivers like plug and play method. But to avoid any issues, please watch the video carefully till the end. So without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. First of all, we will see all the things we need. You need one Windows PC with any Windows version, but Windows about 10 is recommended. Next, you need any Android phone. Here I am using the Nothing Phone 1. In your device, first go to the settings and about device. This section may look stiffer as per your device. Here search for the build number of your device. Now tap 8 times on build number. This will enable the developer setting. Now swipe back in the main setting of the device. Here you will find the new option developer setting. In this setting you have to enable the USB debugging toggle. If you want to unlock bootloader keep OEM unlock toggle enabled. Now download the bootloader unlock zip file from the video description. You have to unzip this file. You can do it directly on the PC or any Android phone. After unzipping you will get the two files tiny underscore adb folder and mediatek vcom drivers. These drivers are only meant for MediaTek devices like Nord 2. These are only used for any MediaTek device of any brand. I also given the links of all brand USB drivers under the video description. You have to choose them as per your brand and install them. Now transfer both of these files in the PC. First install the USB drivers as per the brand of your device like OnePlus, Samsung, Xiaomi, etc. Once done, reboot the PC. Now transfer the complete folder of tiny adb on the desktop. Now open this folder here you will find some files except the magix and dennis 3 image files all are adb and fastboot files. You can delete these two files but don't delete anything else. Remember whenever you want to flash any recovery boot image or any image file that file must be placed inside the tiny adb folder. That's it we don't have to do anything. Now let's check out our ADB and fastboot drivers are working properly or not. First connect phone to the PC, double click on open cmd.bat file. This will open the new cmd window with the green text. Here to check the ADB drivers type ADB devices and hit enter. I have given some useful commands under the video description. Immediately on the phone you will get the USB debugging prompt. Check mark the box and tap allow. You will see device ID with the authorized mark in the CMD means our ADB drivers are working properly now. Now to check the fastboot we need to boot your device in a fastboot mode. For this type ADB reboot bootloader and tap enter key on the keyboard. This will boot your device into the fastboot mode it is also called as bootloader mode. Keep phone connected to the PC now type fastboot devices and hit enter. If you guess the device ID with the fastboot in front of it means your fastboot or bootloader is also set up successfully in the PC. To flash any files like recovery, boot, etc. you have to place that file in the adb folder. Suppose you have to flash recovery now, type proper command as per requirement. 
like we want to flash the recovery type fast boot space flash space recovery and drag the desired file in the cmd and hit enter here i just shown the example of flashing recovery using not to recovery image which is already present in the tiny adb folder so you have to place your own device recovery image don't use this recovery image similarly you can flash any image like boot dtp vb meta etc i have given the list of proper commands to flash this files or you can perform the different activities like bootloader unlocking relocking all the commands will work with this method i will timely update this driver so all the new future fast boot commands will work with this without any problem so that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for smartphone modding related content thanks for watching soon next time take care bye bye